Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you if this is your sun sign and you're celebrating a birthday. And I hope you are enjoying your season. Thank you to all of you for your support. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and hit that like button. We're connected energetically. I send you positive energy and love every single day. You're never alone. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Um, or you could look at other parts of your chart. Now, every Friday is a general reading. Monday, the style of reading differs every week. So there's a pick a card reading one week, a love reading. That's uh, Mondays are when I do the monthly readings, the more in-depth types of readings. And in December, we will have a yearly predictive reading for the year of 2022. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. Whoops, I'm going to let that come out. Whoop, it went face up uh, to higher source tarot. A bit of dialogue in there. All right, let's get going here. What advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned? Well, these cards are jumping. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot reading, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle. You had the star come out. If you didn't see that, you might have caught a glimpse. All right, you've got Temperance, the Ten of Wands, the Empress, the Ten of Swords, two tens, the Eight of Wands, the World, the Ace of Wands, and the Emperor. Wow, that's pretty cool. You have the Emperor and the Empress. This is a big deal, okay? You are thriving in change, whatever this is about for you. You know, you've got so many wonderful cards here, but you have five major arcana plus an ace. I mean, that's a big deal. Um, you know, so we could do this a lot of different ways, right? I mean, we look at the emperor and the empress. I like them because he never takes his eye off of his empress, right? And when we throw in the world with that, this is a powerful relationship. There's something really important here in terms of love, commitment, integrity. There is definitely a relationship here. Um, but let's get let's go back to the star for just a minute here since this came out. You have Aries, Sagittarius, and Aquarius here. You've got quite a bit of fire. So Aries, Leo, Leo, Sag, and uh, just said. Um, just the swords there for air for you. But, um, and, and really, em the Empress is about earth energy. So with this, so we love the star. It's somebody here, you're having a revelation about a relationship, or it could be about your life in general and the value or the importance of relationships. This is wish fulfillment, though. It's really being clear about what you want. There's an inner knowing when we talk about the star. It's complete acceptance. And, you know, as the star or your soul evolves, we evolve into the world. That's nirvana. So you're on the right path. We talked a little bit. It's about thriving in change, embracing change. And so with the star, whatever it is, something better is on the way. If something ended and you've had a hard time accepting the change, embrace it because there's always something better behind it. And so with this, it is a card, though, of renewal and meditation um, synchronicity too. So if you're seeing different signs and symbols, know the universe communicates with you on the level that you can accept it and understand it. So we've got the Archangel Michael here. This is really an energy of bringing people together. I do see that if you're planning something, if you're in a relationship and you're planning a wedding or something, you may find that it brings people together or a gathering of any sort. This is wonderful energy for that. But again, it is that energy of uh, being easy about things, easy going, wear the world like a loose fitting garment. And both the, uh, both the temperance and the star feature that source energy, right? And we talk about this when the Archangel Michael pours the water, he's looking down, he pays attention to source. So does the star. She has one of the pitchers is pouring the water on the earth. She pays no attention because it's all about source energy here. So whatever you're manifesting here, it really is coming from the divine. If it's a work-related situation, you've got cards of wealth, of luxury here, 
Um, you may find you've had to put in some time to get it, and it might be a bit taxing, but I do see that as bringing in th the things, the goals that you want, you're getting them. So there's not a lack here at all. And, and it may seem like the path you've been on hasn't been exactly what you thought it was going to be, but as it unfolds, you'll see it, you'll understand why. There is really no no reason to ask why because it makes sense. So we've got this 10 of wands. We know that 10s are about realization, perfection, and new cycles, but it is a card of a bit of efforting, okay? I do feel like it's been worth the effort, whatever it is. Um, if it's a relationship for you and it's been, because there's a bit of an opposite to attract energy here with the Empress and Emperor. They're very different types of energies, but they are a couple and they are together. You know, there's no breaking the Emperor and Empress up and mother and father of the tarot. Now, I do like temperance there if there's an issue with your family and bringing them back together, if that's what this is. They're, they're just telling you there's been some kind of a struggle or a challenge, but you've seen it through to the end. You don't give up here, Libra. You keep going forward no matter what, and it's all worth it. In the end, it has all been worth it. So the Empress brings in luxury. Now, that Emperor takes great care of her, so she doesn't have to stress. The Empress is very laid back. She is the mother of the tarot. So those of you that are in a relationship and wanting a baby, you do have nice aspects for fertility, but you have passion here too. The Empress is an energy of really being a true partner in a way that comes from love. You know, it's it's not domineering at all. I mentioned she does love luxury and you see around her, there's new growth and new opportunities everywhere you go in this energy. You may find that you attract people and you may do something to set the ball rolling. Maybe you go out and wherever you go, you give compliments. And the next thing you know, you're getting them. And it seems like it's just this evolution, you and this energy that keeps going together. In terms of work too, I do see that moving forward. New opportunities showing up. There's definitely money here and great stability here with the Empress. But again, it comes from that place of love and we can't manifest from a better place than that. Now, I wouldn't have minded instead of the Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords to see the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, but we do what we can. So I mentioned before, you have something with having a lot of opportunities here, and sometimes that depletes energy a bit. We get going in a lot of different directions. This can represent illness, so just be aware of that because you want to take good care of yourself. Again, the Empress loves luxury, but she can also overindulge. So be careful, too, if you are... Because you have temperance also, with which is a card of moderation, tells us to mo be mindful of moderation. So you could be prone to eating or drinking too much with the empress and temperance being here. Um, so just kind of watch out for that because then you have one of these nasty hangovers or you just don't feel good because you maybe you ate a lot of rich foods or something like that. That's why I feel like this is here. I don't see anything in terms of nefarious people around you who are going to do something and come out of nowhere. I just don't see that. Temperance is the card. It can be the card of the alcoholic and uh, so can the devil, but but this also too can be represent, again, too much drinking. So just be aware of it. Um, again, the tarot is your best friend that tells you the truth. So it's not to scare you. Maybe that doesn't relate to you. You might say, look, I've been sober for 20 years. I promise I'm not going to I'm not going to drink, but I might eat too much ice cream. Then there you go. So with the Eight of Wands, it's movement forward. There's a, a rhythm here that you're getting into. This rhythm of manifestation, it's communication. But what we would like about this is the Wands are all about enterprise and growth and their action energy moving things forward. So if it's a relationship, you're definitely going to have the communication, the dialogue is open. And it's it's open about moving forward. There's no second guessing here. There's no questioning. This is the arrows of love in the tarot. So if you've been in something too, you might feel like you're really supported in this relationship right now. Again, with work stuff, it can just be more communication about ways to make money. And it can be communication or checks coming in too, especially with the world being here. So we love the world. It is the final major arcana here. And it's that evolution of the soul. Every major arcana represents or symbolizes experiences that we have to have in this life's journey. And so the fool represents the soul. And so here, this is a card of culmination. It's a card of absolute victory, success, 
pure joy. This is bliss. It is a card of travel. So those of you that are planning some kind of a trip, maybe you have a milestone birthday and you've decided this next year you want to get out and see some places. This is great energy to do that. The planning is smooth. It's easy. You seem to stumble across all the right stuff when you're in this energy. And so with the world, it is not just a success, but it's synthesis. It's that card of complete self-mastery and being in an energy where you are compatible with people. There's no forcing here. Even if the um, relationship you're in is really, you're really opposites in some ways, there's still a level of compatibility that this brings in that it's not a struggle. All right, I feel like the Ten of Wands, the struggle is over, but like we said, it was worth it either way. So the Ace of Wands brings in passion, especially with the Emperor and Empress here. Um, she, you know, the Empress is kind of like the Queen of Wands and the way she's drawn where her knees are apart. That is intentional, folks. Okay, I mean, they were a bit mischievous back in the day when they designed these cards. Um, it indicates passion. It indicates an energy of even lust for some of you. And it doesn't mean that it's in an illicit way or something where you're lusting after people that you shouldn't be. It really is because you have that partnership, being in a relationship where you're drawn to the other person. Any new opportunities in terms of work, though, I do feel like you're going to have an eagerness here. This is like wave your magic wand, and so is the entire reading for that matter. I like this for you. I feel like it's one of those things where your energy gets going in a positive direction and it just keeps showing up everywhere. So with the emperor here, the emperor and the empress also have that pool of consciousness that we talked about. So it runs back here by the emperor's toes and it comes straight down here, okay, if you've never noticed that before. So it runs through many of the cards because you're always connected to source. The emperor is the architect of the universe, so it's an energy of confidence, boldness, clarity, but it's getting what you want. I mean, he gets what he wants, and, and, and there's no stopping him. So you may find you have great ideas, but you actually can take the action behind them to turn those thoughts into things. Any new ideas, put yourself out there. If it's an Etsy shop you've been wanting to start, I see somebody with art. It seems like it's art or something for sale in a shop or a like a coffee shop and it's new avenues to market your gifts. So let's see here with the um, angel answers, what they have to say for Libra. All right, and a timeline for Libra here. All right, so we have here, ask for help from others. Well, I'd certainly say you have support here, especially with temperance. That's a card of support as well. The situation will improve, and it's up to you. Well, I, I, you have some empowered energy, I mean, big time here. So allow yourself to be beautiful, Libra. They say within the next few months, and you've got, don't stop. You're on the right path. Great things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.